Hey guys, welcome to Ham Radio with K0PIR and my YouTube channel. I'm going to go over Ham Radio Deluxe Logbook version 6.5 and some changes I've made to the appearance and just how it works overall. Okay, good morning. It is uh, 8 o'clock in the morning. And I've been on the Breakfast Club net having a good time uh, listening to my friends uh, all across the country. And I'm doing a little video here on HRD Logbook. Uh, I've used HRD Logbook for a long time. And I never really cleaned it up to, to make it look good uh, or streamline it so it's, it's less cluttered and easier to operate. So let me show you just a few things, and I'll have an article out on my website, www.k0pir.us. All right, uh, I've got the window up, I've got HRD Logbook up, and this is the way that I've I'm been using it. And uh, I've customized it a little bit, changed the colors and the fonts, and those types of things are real easy to do. But a couple of things that I, I really never did in the past was the, uh, the icons up here. And on the top left, you'll see I have Rig Control, Digital Master, and the Tuning, the Main. And those are the only three I have. Then I have HRDLog.net. And if you haven't used this before, this is a real neat feature of Ham Radio Deluxe Logbook. And I'll show that to you in just a minute. But I've just got these three icons. And to change that toolbar, just click on that little down arrow and go over to Main. And then you can select the ones that you want. And I used to have layout A, B, and C. I used to have satellite tracking, uh, the rotator, a bunch of stuff that I just never used. So I just unselected those. And I've got three items right here. And uh, let me show you on the, uh, the add log entry window. On the right, this is the ALE add log entry. I used to have a bunch of tabs down here and boy it just made things so cluttered i'd have to scroll over using the arrows i clicked on show tabs and now i just have the few that i want and it just makes things less cluttered less complicated for me uh, basically what i look at on these is my station when i change my power output i'll uh, edit that in there and then in the logbook, uh, when I'm talking to a station, uh, I was just talking to Earl, W9WJO. Uh, I can look and see uh, uh, if I've, you know, when I've contacted him in the past. Uh, sometimes a guy will come on a net and I'll look him up and I'll see that I haven't talked to him in, you know, a couple of years or three or four, even 10 years. Uh, and that's kind of nice. So I, I use that. Uh, I use my station. Uh, sometimes I'll look at the propagation when I'm uh, looking for DX or talking to guys across the country. Uh, but those are really the only ones that I use. Uh, but it's nice to have the, these other ones in here, the contact, the location, that kind of stuff. Uh, it's kind of nice to be able to look at that. So this is less cluttered. This toolbar in the logbook is less cluttered. I'm going to go ahead and close this. And uh, one of the things that I like to have in HRD Logbook is the radio pane. Um, when I'm connected and I have my rig control up, I can just click on that icon. brings up my rig control. I've got another article on my website, and it's about setting this up and changing the colors on it, the fonts, and these sliders. It's really easy to do. This kind of mimics my ICOM 7300. But I've got some nice sliders in here, the ones that I use quite a bit. I'll go ahead and minimize it. And then in this radio pane, I have a lot of the buttons and sliders that are on the rig control window. The, the ones that I use most often. Because a lot of the times I can just leave my, uh, my logbook open and control the radio from here. So if I want to change my mode, if I'm going over to data, I can turn it on. Uh, I can hit my tune. Uh, I can turn the uh, auto tuner on and off, uh, noise reduction, noise blanker, just the ones that I, I use most often. And then the sliders, of course, I can change the volume. 
uh, the RF gain and the the power I change quite often. So uh, even the brightness of the uh, the screen on the front of the 7300, I can change it. So th that's real nice for me to have open. And then down below it, I have the audio recorder. And I like to have the audio recorder open. If I'm gonna if I'm listening to somebody and I want to record them, I can just type in their call sign. Uh, I've already got uh, Earl in there. I can just type in his call sign and then hit record. And then when he's finished, I just hit stop. I can go in and look up the file. And here we go. I just recorded him. I don't know if you can hear it real well. But it, it makes a nice recording. And if I'm talking to somebody, if I have the add log entry window open and I'm talking to someone, I'll put uh, Earl back in there, W9WJO. When I'm talking to him, I've got a little button down here that I can start the audio recorder. I start it and record him and then stop it. And it shows up over in the directory the audio directory it shows up here and it'll have the the frequency and the date and the time on it and then the call sign so i can email the the file to them if they want to listen to it. it it's just nice to have and one other thing i found nice about this audio recorder is a lot of the guys that i talk to are up there in years and i've got recordings of guys that have that are silent keys that I haven't heard in a long time. And sometimes I just go back and, and listen to their recording. And then my logbook, I have uh, a couple of tabs open here. Uh, I have my uh, master logbook and then I have my calendar. And if you haven't used the HRD logbook calendar, if you don't do SCEDs, then maybe you don't want to use it. Uh, I have a, a, a net that, uh, a couple of nets that I listen to and I've got them in there. Uh, there's actually uh, quite a few others I haven't entered in yet. I'm just starting to use this more. And uh, the, going back to the master log, I've changed this, and I've got uh, um, the basic fields that I want to view. And this is real easy to do. Uh, you'll see that I have my filter open here. I can minimize that, get rid of it, and go back to it. This is a real nice feature of Ham Radio Deluxe Logbook. If I'm going to look for a call sign, I just spoke to Earl, W9WJO. Hit the apply. I can see the times that I have him logged in there. And I can take that off, hit apply again. And I only show, uh, you know, down here in the bottom right, I only have about 100 uh, viewable right now. And to change that, you can go to, to display. And I can view them all. And it takes a few seconds for it to load. There's a lot in there. I can view the top 100. And uh, of course, uh, on and on. But this is really nice to have. I usually have it set off to the side. Another section that I have is the DX cluster and spots. I kind of like to look at to see who's on. Maybe there's uh, somebody that I think I can make a contact with to uh, change to their frequency. I just double click on it. Uh, back a, a while back, WA9PIE Mike did a video on uh, setting up a, a MySQL database for HRD logbook. And I've got a link to it on my website. Uh, you can take a look at that video, and it really speeds things up. Uh, if you have quite a few in your database, it'll speed things up for you. If you're not comfortable doing it, just stick with the default database. It's an access database. And what I would suggest is using the display and just maybe displaying the top 100 or the top 500. Um, it works really well. I, you know, I never had any complaints about using access database i just wanted to try out uh what mike had done in his video and it did speed things up for me so it was very helpful okay and there's another thing i want to cover and that's uploading to your favorite online logs
And I use hrdlog.net. I use qrz.com, eqsl.cc, and of course, logbook of the world. So let's take a look. We'll go under tools and configure. And the first one we we'll get to is club log. And I didn't used to use club log, but I started using it a couple of years ago when I picked up Mac logger DX and I think it was rum log NG had it in there too for my Macintosh. So I've been using club log. And if you haven't taken a look at that, go over to clublog.org and just have a look. A lot of DX stations use clublog.org. So I've got that set up and it's set to upload every time an entry is added. And then we can go uh, back to uh, tools and configure. And the next one is eqsl.cc. This is the way I have mine set up. I don't have a nickname in there. Just my username and password and a QSL message. I ought to change that because sometimes I use the 7610. But I've been using the 7300 a lot lately. Uh, so that's the way that I've got it set up. So it uploads every time. Go ahead and click OK. And then the next one will go to Tools and Configure. And the next one is hrdlog.net. And I started using this years and years ago when HRD was free. And I really like this website. If you haven't already, please go over and visit it, hrdlog.net. This is really neat. It will upload the logbook every time a, an entry is added, but it also shows my on-air status. And I really like that feature. I've even got that on my website. So let me, go, let me show you what that looks like. I'm going to click OK. And you'll see up here in this field, I've got hrdlog.net, and I'm just listening. I can put in there uh, net control, operating net control on the breakfast club. And it shows up, this part shows up on the hrdlog.net website. And let me just drag that over. And you can see it shows that I'm on air, and the frequency, the mode, and then that little section in there that I'm listening. Now, if I'm operating, if I'm net control, I'll just type in there um, uh, net control, and it shows up there. Uh, the other thing about hrdlog.net, if you have a website, you can set your website up so it shows up there too. And let me just show you what that looks like. Uh, i got to find it real quick. Let me drag it over. And there on my website, people can see where I'm operating. Shows the uh, frequency, the radio, and then my last 15. All right, now let's go back to tools, configure, and uh, the next one is qrz.com. And uh, this one you need a subscription. I gotta wipe that key out. <laughs> uh, you need a subscription to upload, and I've been using this for a couple of years now. I like using qrz, a lot of guys use it. And then the last one, of course, is LOTW. That's the one I was looking for. If I'm going to upload the last uh, few calls that I've made, uh, last QSOs, I just highlight them, right click, and then go to File and LOTW and Upload. And when I do that, it brings up the LOTW window. And uh, the URL is already in there for you. Username and password. And then, of course, the TQSL, you have to have that installed, and that's another video. But uh, you got to make sure that your station location is correct or it won't work. So I've already uploaded those. I'm not going to do it again. Now, let's look at changing the appearance of the logbook. I think this makes it really nice. And, yeah, I've got some nice colors in here. I've changed my fonts a little bit. And... There's so much to Ham Radio Deluxe Logbook. I can't cover it all in one video. It'd just be too long, and it'd get to be too boring. But let me show you what I did on the, uh, the logbook area here. I went to uh, More, and then Appearances. And the logbook window, I just, I've got slash zero. Got that checked off. And then I changed my font, and you can find a font in there that you really like that appeals to you. I've got a pretty big monitor. 
the uh, size nine works really well for me. You can play around with it some more. You can go bold. Uh, and I show grid lines on mine. I kind of like to see the grid lines. Uh, and then down here in the colors, uh, I have uh, alternate colors every four rows. I've just been playing around with that. And then I have a nice color in there that I like. The time is set to UTC. Now on the frequency display tab, I'm not displaying the frequency up there in the toolbar. So it's not going to change anything. But if you do decide to display it, you can change it here. And uh, I do have mine set for... Uh, black background and then the font that I used in the uh, logbook window Of course the rotator dial I don't use I don't have a rotator connected to it. So uh, there's no no need for me to have that even uh, up there on my toolbar So that's the way that I have my logbook set up and over for the radio pane Let's take a look at the options here and uh, the the default layout, uh, that's what I have. I've changed mine. Yours will look different. But you can go in and change these real easy. You see the three dashes here. If I want to add something, I just click on it. Find what I want to add and click on it. And there, I've got it. Down here in the slider, it's the same thing. You're limited to a number you can use. I've got them all. And you just click on it. Select the one that you want, and it shows up. So I click OK, and there, it's all back. I can add VFOA and VFOB in there if I wanted to. I've been going back and forth uh, using VFOB for DX and VFOA for listening to the nets that I want to listen to. So that's it for the radio pane. And if you will, please uh, visit my website. I've got a little bit more information on it. I've got some links to it. So thanks for watching. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. Also tell your friends. 73 and good DX.